You know, I'd like to talk just a minute about some of the things you need to look at when you're starting a dock shoot. So many people now are getting interested in this dock shooting and a great new technique to catch crappie. You know, some of the basics that I'd like to talk to you about is just how you start, how you start shooting, what you look for. I like to take my lure and put it about six to 10 inches above my reel here. You know, what that does, when I load up on this bait and I pull back, you know, you don't want to have a whole lot of slack that you're pulling that bait behind you. You want everything that you're doing right there in front of you and also use the same anchor point every time. Rod is very important. I've got the new uh, Lose Wally Marshall Signature Series here. It's a great rod. It's got enough backbone up to about midways that you can really load up on it and a soft tip because you're not dealing with a heavy bait here. I'm shooting either a 124th ounce or a 132nd and also the line. I'm using Gamma Line 6 pound test. I love the low diameter in the Gamma Line and also the high vis. You know, you're not looking for a very explosive strike. Sometimes the line's just gonna move side to side and that's some of the things that you look at. What you do, I've got the Lose uh, Light 100 series here. You're not looking at carrying a whole lot of line capacity on shooting these docks. So that lightens your whole gear up where it doesn't wear you out all day. And what I'm trying to do, the new Bobby Garland pull tab is another great accessory that I like to use in shooting these docks. As you can see right there, it hangs and it's behind the hook. It's got a great flash to it that adds a whole lot of action to the already great base of Bobby Garland. But also, it gets that hook away from my fingers and I don't have to worry about it sticking. So I've got my bait here, I'm ready, I'm set up. I've engaged my reel. And what I'm gonna do, when I'm looking through these docks, even on these pontoons, you know, these fish are laying in the shade and laying up, tucked up underneath these things. And the dock shooting gives me an opportunity to reach some of these fish that otherwise are untouched. So if you'll see right here, got it all set up. I'm gonna load up and I'm getting up underneath this boat right here. And I'm all the way to the front on that one. So I can work that whole area right through there. And uh, I think if you'll start trying to work on this dock shooting, you'll catch a whole lot more fish. 